Okay, so let's have a look at um, what we are actually doing in Windows Server 2016 to address uh, this whole scenario around um, protecting the virtual machines. Now, I'm going to be playing the role of the administrator. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be uh, setting it up uh, with a separate domain, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like when we actually turn on shielding for a virtual machine. So the first thing I want to um, start with is a couple of virtual machines that I have uh, currently running uh, in my environment. Uh, I've got a admin box and I've got a SQL machine. Uh, so if I look at the settings for these these two machines, I want to start with the building blocks that we uh, that we did with Windows Server uh, uh, 2012 and 2012 R2. As you notice that on this particular machine, I have enabled Secure Boot, uh, and I'm using the template. We're very much template driven at the moment at Microsoft, and I've also enabled uh, TPM. Now, I've also, if you look down here at the bottom, I've got additional security profiles that, can, uh, that I can add. Uh, we have no additional protection, data protection, and shielding. I'm going to turn that on in a second, um, but I wanted to show you what it looks like uh, from, from both of these different scenarios. Now, I've also got another machine here, which is a SQL server. Now, obviously, a SQL server would be a, a machine that um, has a lot of data on it. And I've got Secure Boot enabled, but I don't have the Trusted Platform module enabled. So by having the TPM not enabled, means that I can't actually uh, enable things like disk encryption on this device. And I'm going to play the role of the of uh, the cranky administrator or the administrator that is uh, not trusted. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount this VHD. I'm going to go to Browse. And I'm going to go and grab the, the, the actual disk for this. And voila, what you can see here is that I've been able to actually mount the disk that's on this particular VM. Because I'm a, a Fabric administrator, I've got access to all the virtual machines that are running in my environment, and there's no additional security on this VM. Okay, So I can go ahead and actually uh, access that VM. All right, So uh, if I go into my local machine, what you can actually see here is that I could go in and I could go and grab uh, the data that's on this VM, take it with me, and use uh, you know for an offline attack. All right. Uh, so I'm going to go and remove that. I'm going to uh, detach uh, that disk. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove uh, that disk because I don't want to do that. So I'm going to get rid of that particular disk. And I'm going to go and do a couple of things. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to go into settings on this particular machine. And you notice we have uh, TPM enabled. Uh, and we've also got... Um, uh, enable Trusted Platform module on this. And I'm going to go ahead and enable Shielding. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like when we start that particular machine. Now, what you'll notice right away is that you cannot connect to a shielded virtual machine using a virtual machine connection uh, because uh, we have no access to the video memory on this particular uh, machine. Because we've turned on shielding, we are, got, we are uh, setting up state separation between uh, the administrator for the virtual machine itself and the fabric administrator so that they don't have access to that. Now, of course, with other machines here, which I don't have, uh, ac I, I don't have that enabled, you notice I get the video memory there, I can get access to that, no problem. Now, what does it look like inside the VM itself once I've uh, once I've enabled all that stuff? So to do that, what I'm going to do uh, for for simpleness of this particular demo is to turn on shielding for a minute, just so that I can get uh, access to the uh, to the to the video memory, so that I can have a look at that. I'm going to shut this down. Shouldn't take to shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds. I'm gonna shut this virtual machine down. And what I'm gonna do is try to um, because that machine has got shielding and it's got a TPM enabled uh, to see if I can actually mount uh, do a mount an offline attack on that particular machine. So let's go ahead and try that and see how that actually looks compared to a machine that doesn't have this enabled. OK, so that's machines off. And I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, mount an offline attack for that. Um, and I'm going to attach, try to attach that VHD. I'm going to go to the admin box. I'm going to go to the virtual hard drives and go grab the admin and choose OK. 
Okay, what you know, you'll notice here is that uh, this particular disk here is um, BitLocker encrypted. Uh, and you'll notice a message is coming up. It says Windows can't uh, find that because I, I don't have the ability to unlock this particular drive uh, because we have BitLocker encrypted and we've issued some state separation between those two administrators. What about if I tried to run the, the command prompt, the universal uh, hackers tool or the command prompt itself? What if I went and tried that um, and I went and did E colon backslash? It said drive is locked by BitLocker encryption. You're not able to actually do that. Okay, so uh, we're hopefully we're you know we're implementing additional steps in this to help us um, with these particular machines so that um, uh, we get in a state where those machines are a little bit more secure in uh, those environments where we need that. Okay.